Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to configure and use the Elastic Beanstalk CLI for basic health checks. So to get started, we need to initialize the environment by issuing a command called EBINIT. So we need to select the region that we're working in, and for us it's 16, which is London. So now we're being asked for credentials. So I've set up a user in AWS, an IAM user for pragmatic access only. And this user's been assigned the full rights to the Elastic Beanstalk service. So now that access ID is pasted in, we put in our secret key. And now you'll see we get the selection of applications that we have up and running. So I have one called Test EBS and another one called Tech Snips. Option three is to create a new application, which will let you create the framework. Uh, then you can proceed after that to create your actual infrastructure within your Elastic Beanstalk. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to choose number two, which is Tech Snips. So now we've configured the environment. If you've made a mistake, there's two folders you can remove if you need to. So in our EB folder, you'll see there's actually a directory called Elastic Beanstalk. Within this, there's a YAML file which holds our configuration. In our user account, we have a folder called .aws, which holds the configuration with our access ID, key, and the region. So by removing those two folders, you will then be able to initialize the environment again. So if we move on to the health checks, the first command we can use is called EB health. And this just gives you a moment in time idea of what is happening with your Elastic Beanstalk. So you'll see I've got no load balancers, but I do have one instance running. If we add the refresh parameter, this now gives us a real time dashboard showing that the status is ready health green and our EC2 instance is up and running. We can also issue a command called EB status. So this gives us some more details and again a snapshot in time of how our Elastic Beanstalk infrastructure is doing. So you'll see status is ready and health is green. And lastly we can use EB events so we can receive events on what's been happening within our Elastic Beanstalk infrastructure. Thank you for watching this video.